Good morning, friends. Welcome back to the kitchen. This morning I have my little harvest here of zucchini that I'm gonna be processing. I accidentally had one get away from me <laughs> while everyone was in town. And I've had a lot of you ask me specifically on canning my zucchini in pineapple juice. And that's what I'm doing today. I've found that it's much more convenient for me to use for quick grab and go, typically desserts um, throughout the harvest season and it doesn't take up freezer space. So I'm gonna be grating all these up. Now this big one, I will take the seeds out and I'll show you guys how I can zucchini and pineapple juice today. So it's gonna take me a bit to get all these grated up but we're aiming for four quarts of shredded zucchini. So let's see how we go. Now I could get out my food processor, but I found that I don't really like the shredding attachment a ton on it. It seems to jam up on me and this goes just, as, just fine. So I'm just shredding on the normal shred. Um, I don't do the small shred for um, this. You can also cut it in cubes. You don't have to shred it. But I found that I use shredded zucchini over cubed zucchini much more. I am done shredding zucchini and it leaves that funky mess on your hand like zucchini wax. So uh, this is how much I have extra. You guys need to stay tuned to find out what I'm gonna do with that. I'll give you a hint, it's something similar to my zucchini tomato salsa, but I'm not gonna use it for salsa. So I have my four quarts of shredded zucchini. I'll just go through the um, ingredients for this recipe. Um, 46 ounces of pineapple juice, three cups of sugar, and one and a half cups of lemon juice. So we're gonna head over to the stove, get this all mixed up, uh, get the sugar dissolved. We'll boil it, not really boil it. We'll bring it up to a boil, simmer for 20 minutes, and then it'll be ready to jar up. Alrighty. This is really actually a very pretty easy recipe too. If you guys are new to canning, um, it is water bath, so you don't have to pressure can it. Um, and it's not like making jams or jellies where you have to get the consistency right back, or just right. So, one of the easiest, next to pickles probably. Pickles, salsa, that's... All those are probably my, would be my go-to first time canner recipes. You can't really go wrong with salsa. I guess you could make it too spicy accidentally. Um, you can't go wrong with canned tomatoes. Um, why I probably don't recommend that as a first time canner is it's just the messiest job in the world. This isn't too messy. So I did seed my big zucchinis, so you definitely want to do that for this. That's probably the only thing. All right, we'll get this um, up to a good high heat and then we'll take it down to simmer and we'll simmer it for 20 minutes and I'll bring you guys back and jar it up. Um, I'll tell you when I did this last year, was my first year canning shredded um, zucchini. I've always canned chunk zucchini before to use like in pineapple upside down cakes, pineapple upside down muffins, just a pineapple chunk pineapple replacer. And that's what this acts like. But um, I canned it shredded for the first time last year thinking I wanted to try it for my zucchini breads as just a different way to preserve shredded zucchini than my freezer. 
and it works wonderfully. I just kind of hand drain it. I don't press out all the liquid. Hand drain it out of the jar and throw it in. And uh, one jar per bread, bread recipe is what I use. So it works out great. Um, I'll bring you guys back though when I can this up. And we've got so much canning to do this weekend. I'm got to get out in the garden and harvest all my green beans. So see you guys back in a bit. <laughs> guys, I almost seriously just messed up. I'm like, why doesn't this look right? Oh Lord have mercy. My brain is still not high functioning. Um, I had measured out four cups of zucchini, not four quarts. So it is four quarts of zucchini and your 46 ounces of pineapple juice. <laughs> I'm like, man, that's not going to go very far. Now we're right. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. So literally just before this timer went off, we got a text message from Dan. If you guys have been with us since we had a for our foreign exchange student this year, Dan, she left us at the end of May. Um because her exchange year was over with us, her relationship with her exchange company was ending, but she had no way of getting back home to Vietnam. Um, Vietnam's borders were closed to incoming flights. They were working with all the countries their students were in, trying to work through how they're gonna repatriate them. And um, She has had over since she left here, we're now at the end of August, multiple scheduled flights to leave, to go home, one out of San Francisco, one and now just recently down to Dallas. Then the hurricane came through, that got delayed, and she just sent a sweet text, Mama, Papa, I'm leaving and I'll see you in a couple of days. How sweet is that? Oh, Dan, I hope your travel back home works out great, that you get to see your family sooner than you hope, and uh, or as soon as you hope, and that we just love you, and who would have thought you'd been here more than a year when it was only scheduled to be eight months, but what a joy. So... Yes, my 20 minutes is done. I've got my water bath canner going. I'm going to start jarring up my zucchini and we'll see how much we get. So the way I like to do it is I like to use a slotted spoon just to get some of the liquid off so that I fill my jars mostly with zucchini and then just top it off with the juice. And you're going to leave a half an inch of pet space. Other exciting news last night we got a sweet visit from our daughter Abigail who's been in first boot camp then a school and C school out in Chicago at the Great Lakes Naval Station out there and she is being transferred now to Norfolk to continue some certification level training for her job she'll be there for a couple months and on her way through, she got to stop by just for the night. We had dinner together, and uh, I was thankful that home wasn't too far out of her way. And uh, she was thinking that she was just going to leave last night. I was like, just stay the night, one night. <laughs> so we got her off bright and early this morning, about 6 o'clock. And... Uh, she will report there, um, I believe, Sunday of this week and start her next journey in the military. So life's changing a lot around here. Just our son and his daughter are still off on their honeymoon. 
so it's just fun seeing all the exciting things changing in your children's lives. All right, I think that's about what I'm gonna get. We'll see if I can't get a half pint out of it still yet. So that's six pints. Let me grab a half pint jar and we'll see if we can't fit some of that in. All right, so I'm just gonna drain the rest of this so I can get the last of that zucchini. But I'm also gonna can my leftover pineapple juice. And I use that quite frequently in for liquid portions and desserts, whether it's bread. I mean, you could even use it like sweet potato casserole as a juice level. So this zucchini will fill up that last half pint and then I'll jar up this, um, can up this leftover pineapple juice. Two spoons wouldn't fit. I don't know how beneficial this is, but where do they taste testing it on camera? Because I want you guys to know how good it is. Mmm. Tastes just like shredded soup. Um, shredded, um, what would you call it? Crushed pineapple. Mmm, so good. Okay, so I ended up with three full pints of juice. I don't think I have, I have a little bit left in the bowl, but I don't think it's quite enough to for even a half pint. So I'll probably just put that in the fridge and we'll use it up. And I'm just cleaning these jar um, lids because this is very sticky and just using a little bit of vinegar to get them clean. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is water bath can these for 15 minutes and then I'll bring you guys back and show you what the end result looks like. So again, food security wise is the main reason that I can't choose to can my grated zucchini now and I don't freeze anymore. Um, number one, I just need my freezer space for our meats primarily. Um, and you guys, if you remember, I'm storing a lot of tomatoes down there right now. So I have lots for big batch processing. And this will go on the pantry shelves and we will use it all winter long for all kinds of yummy, yummy goodies. See you guys back in 15 minutes. I'm very excited. This is one more thing off my list. Stick around till the end. I'll show you my current canning list and everything I've gotten done so far and what's left. I recently went down, probably before the main harvest season really got busy and just did a quick pantry inventory to see what I truly needed to stock up on versus what, you know, and things that I knew I didn't want to do again and just talk to you guys through that. So I'll link that video here in case you want to go check that out. Um, and we welcome all of our new viewers to go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in your own food security and putting up your own food and different ways to use it. Let me grab my list real quick. Okay, so I still have applesauce, apple butter to do. I think I will have enough tomatoes to do barbecue sauce this year. That's exciting. Chilies is still on my list. The Creole Mexican tomatoes, that's coming up soon. Creole and Mexican tomatoes, two different things. Um, onions pickled. Here's my shredded zucchini, so I get to cross that off the list. So, so far I've gotten salsa, cowboy candy, my pickled cabbage, coleslaw, zucchini relish, the shredded zucchini, chicken, green beans, and lots of, and, and I, did I cross off spaghetti sauce? Did I talk about that? Yep, yeah, and pickled beets. Um, I'm probably going to do 
One more round of spaghetti sauce. I will do um, probably a whole nother round of the pickled coleslaw because we are going through that like crazy. <laughs> I don't have a lot left on the counter and we love it that much. So I really wanna go to the farmer's market. I only have like three or four heads of cabbage left in the garden. So I'm probably gonna go to the farmer's market and just probably get 10 heads of mixed variety cabbages and just do a whole nother big round of that. Um, pickles, definitely need to go to the farmer's market because I did not have a good cucumber year. I have all my onions. I'll probably do onion my pickled onions like I did last year and I'll just wait till probably December, January-ish to do those because um, there's no need to get, get into that right now. Applesauce, apple butter, of course, is fall season. I love doing that during the fall for the smells. So up next is the big round of tomatoes. Um, and we'll do our Mexican tomato sauce, our Creole tomato sauce, and the um, other batch of spaghetti sauce. Hopefully I'll have enough left of just tomato base to do my barbecue sauce too. So. I'll tell you guys what, this has been a fantastic gar um, garden season, a fantastic harvest season. I don't know why I thought I needed to plant eight more tomato plants, but I did. So we're just taking them all in and using them. Stick around, got lots more to share with you guys. Thanks for coming in the kitchen with me today, and hopefully you're inspired to harvest and pres preserve your own food. Talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.